Welcome back to another video guys. So, moment of truth. Moment I've been waiting for all this time since I come back from holiday. My new sub box has arrived. I will show you soon. Just gonna tease you into it. Uh, I'm currently removing my old one. Gonna get the amps off first. Sub, all the wiring, already took everything off. All taped up and labeled. But yeah, I'll go show you the new box. Here it is. Completely finished, ready to go. It's a monster. So the vibe amp will be going there. The sides have been recessed so the wires can pass through. The port is pretty nice. I've also asked him to do some LEDs. So he's recessed the corners, put some LEDs in there. So hopefully they'll look nice. The bracing is pretty well done. Got the terminals, the wires for the LEDs. Got LEDs on that side as well. Another bracing there, and that's the entrance for the port. Goes up. Overall, it is a nice box. Much bigger than the one I have. So hopefully it'll play better. I had some issues with my other one because I uh, had some rattles because I made it myself. But this time around, I decided to get someone else to make it for me. But yeah, we'll show you how I got this in and uh, wire everything up. So we'll get to that. All right, guys, so I'm in the process of taking our eyes off. All right, this side came out all right. I used these type of screws. Okay, now as I was taking this off, I'd even unscrew it. They were already sheared off. That's one of them. That's the other one. So that's caused by all the rattling. So my new box, I'm gonna have to think about something about that. Awesome. So, all the boxes out. Shit loads of wiring everywhere. Decided to do my grounds again. Had a bit of corrosion. Yep. Now, previously I've been using this blue wire. And I decided to do a bit of upgrades. Apparently this is meant to be zero gauge for the blue. Look at the difference. So yeah, this is actual zero gauge, this is supposedly zero gauge, yeah, got a long ass piece there, I'm going to chop it up into various pieces, a lot of work ahead. Okay, so I'll be using Rockford Fosgate ring terminal, zero gauge, it's in the nice and snug. This would be from my grounds. I've already wire wheeled the surface. All nice. This one is for speakers. That'll be for my sub. Alright, so attach that onto there. And then straight to the battery. So here's what I'm up to. Just did a little bit of cable management just to make everything tidy to make the install more easier. Um, those are all my grounds. I've got two runs to my amp. And then one to the actual chassis. And um, there's also going to be another ground, which is going to be for the three speaker amps. Still yet to sort out the power wire. That's going to be changing. That's going to be zero gauge going to a distribution block. And then three power cables from the or four gauge going to the speaker amplifiers. Um, this is what I'm up to today. I'm going to have to stop it because I uh, ran out of distribution blocks and uh, ring terminals. So, get back at it tomorrow. Fortunately though, there's not going to be any speakers connected. And I'll be bored as fuck. Well, I might do actually. Get a uh, Bluetooth speaker. Just stick it on my seat. And we're Gucci. Alright, till tomorrow. Alright, so, got most of my wires run. Got my two grounds. One goes to the battery. The other one goes to will will be going to a distribution block, which then goes to three four gauge wires into three amps for the speakers. Um, I've got the main power cable from the front of the battery that goes to the positive there, and then another one goes to a fuse there. I'll then attach another wire 
into there and that will go straight to another distribution block and that will go to my two outputs on my amp. For grounds, um, obviously I've got the main one for the chassis. Then I've got the other two over here. They'll be going straight to the two outputs on the amp. Um, I've got another power here. This is for the amps for my speakers. That's been fused with 250 amp. That's gone to a distribution block. And from here, three power cable, four gauge, will go to the three car amplifiers. And that's pretty much it. Uh, only left, thing left to do here is attach the three four gauge on there. Attach the zero gauge on here, which will go to a distribution block. And then put my boot lid back on, well, carpet. Um, sort out all the wiring and uh, get onto the box. Alright, so next step what I did, ran four speaker wires straight to each voice coil, positive, negative on the other side as well. Previously I had um, a smaller piece of speaker wire that did burn, so what I've done, I've used 8 gauge power cable as my speaker wire. Then I ran that all the way around the sides, straight into the amp, and the dual outputs. Alright, so this was a piece of speaker cable that I used, as you can tell, there's a difference much, much thicker with this one. So hopefully that solves the problem and it'll be alright. Alright, this is the last time you see the inside of the subwoofer. Next, I'll just pop it in place, screw it down and go for a test. Alright guys, so it's been a week or two since I last worked on my subwoofer and my build. Um, the subwoofer is connected, it's panning hard. I am quite impressed with it. Um, currently I have only the back speakers which are our Pioneers and the fronts which are two Orions. The rest aren't connected. I used the Vibamp as a temporary source for the Orions. Today I was off work so I decided to uh, work on it again. Um, I've sorted out all the cables. It's all, it's all powered on and working and everything. The uh, only thing that needs to be done is the remote wires for each of them and then obviously I need to sort out all my um, speakers and RCAs but that's going to be going to a um, crossover which I still need to figure out so down here we've got 8 gauge speaker cable coming straight from the subwoofer going straight along around the box and go straight to the amp then we've got your two grounds the red ones that's for the bander and then the Orions and the brown one, that will go to the Vibe. And I know some of you might be saying, why am I using red cable for the ground? But it's all I had and didn't want to buy any more. <clears throat> um, I'll put some labels on it so I don't get mistaken for the power wire. Then we've got power from here. Going to um, a fuse, which then goes to a distribution block which then goes down from from 4 gauge to 0 gauge which goes down to my batteries which are in the boot, which are a spare wheel um, I also got the Banda power cable going to another fuse and then back to the distribution block that is the ground for the Banda that just goes straight to the distribution block which is there and then you obviously got the 0 gauge um, ground which connects straight to the chassis. Right, that's the other fuse for the vibe amp, and that's all I've done so far. Now, I haven't tested them yet fully if they turn on, so I just want to share that moment with you guys. So, the power and ground are connected, it's just a remote. So, I've taken the remote from the vibe amp just as a test. Here goes nothing. Voila, it works. That's quite cool actually. Okay, yeah, these are lights. I was hoping they'd be blue, but it seems to be white. Um, there will be some casing that goes on the outside, like a little uh, protector. And that goes there, and it, it covers all this. And just that little tiny bit of light will be peeking out. So hopefully that looks nice. Alright, time for the bander. Now the bander has integrated fans located there. Um, so it might be a bit noisy. There we go. 
Yep, Banda's working. Power lights on. Everything's okay. Yeah, so there's the fans kicking in. Cool's quite nice, that actually. It's quite cool there. So that amp should be good for ventilation. But yeah, overall, quite impressed so far what I've done. Next step, I'll just be going to a hardware store. I need to find like a bracket or some sort just so I can attach and hold these cables down um, just so I don't have to use um, tape, which is only a temporary measure. But yeah, so far so good. After that, I'll be sorting out my um, LEDs for my sub. Um, if I connect them, that should go. There they are. Obviously you can't see it that well in, during the day, but in the night they look pretty nice. That goes all the way around the subwoofer. Alright, so I'll get them connected as well. And um, just need to sort out speaker and RCA, which I need to, I need to find a location for my crossover. So after searching for about two days online and in store, found these call saddle clips, uh, they're used for plumbing, uh, they're quite bendable, so what I've done, I've used them for cable management. Looks pretty alright. Yep, everything's all tight, all's in place, not fluffing around like before, not held on with tape. It's all Gucci. Obviously I've got loads of other wires to sort out as well, but that's on a later date. And then we've done it there as well. So yeah, it's coming along guys. Slowly but surely. Next I need to figure out my um, crossover, so I'll get on to that. Alright, time to get messy. So it's been a while since I've been on a Corsa, it's probably, probably about a month to be honest. I haven't touched it due to the winter. Um, but yeah, sun's out now. And um, I was thinking to sort out the crossover today, which is going to be messy. Um, first of all, what I've done, I've um, ran all the RCAs, the long ones, to the rear. So that's them there. Still need to go to the back, but I'm just going to place them there for now. I've got a little diagram that I did, just to help me out. So, we've got the head unit there. From there, I'm going to have three RCAs, all one, min all one millimeter big, which I got from Halfords. Vibe Audio. Then that will run into my glove box. So I've got them there. It's two connected right now. That goes into the through the back and comes out of my um, fuse box cover. That's them two there. I'm going to need another one, so I'll get that done. Then that will connect straight to the crossover. Then from the crossover, um, the easiest one is obviously the base um, subwoofer. That's just a straight RCA from the crossover to the Orion uh, base subwoofer on the back. Then another easy one would be the tweeter. Same again. Now this is where it's complicated. Because I've got um, a front and rear Alpine set up already. And now I'm adding on two more um, Orions. Which are them. Um, I'm going to need some splitters. So what I've done got these splitters so there's two um, two females one male that's going to connect to the um, the mid base on the crossover and out comes two females and from that two female um, I'm going to have another splitter and then <laughs> from that splitter I'm going to have another two splitter and then to the alpine uh, the easiest one to understand would be the bandit it's quite weird to figure out because it took me a while but once i've got all the wiring sorted it's easy to understand so basically from the crossover the one 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 of the audio cables one of the audio jacks the 
will have a splitter. So that then splits into two females. And then from the two females, I can just get a RCA right and left straight to the bando. Same principle with this. But when it comes to the to the splitter, so that's the splitter there. When it comes to the left and right, I'm going to have another splitter. Two splitters, actually. So one's going to go there. One's going to go there. All right. Then that will split into two. So I've got one, two males split into four females in which I can get two RCAs left to right there left to right there straight to the alpine for fronts and rears yeah complicated I know um, but yeah I've got all the gear sorted so hopefully I should have everything got the one meter three of these of um, RCAs I also got the five meter one Where's it gone? five meter but I've already put it in which is this one Looks the same, just longer. Um, I already had um, these RCAs, which are really nice RCAs. They're a bit old, so a bit worn, but they still work perfectly fine. One I use for my base, I think it's uh, this one, that's the base one. I've labelled everything up, just so I can keep track of it. There's a lot of cables. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right, so, welcome to M Wiring Mayhem. Okay, so, easiest one. Subwoofer. That is just RCA straight to the subwoofer. Um, the amp on the rear. And then you just got the subwoofer RCA from the crossover to the head unit. Same for the front and rear. But for the front, that is actually a tweeter. Um, but I've connected it on the front because I've got this uh, frequency multiplier so I can times that by 20, times the frequency by 20 in order to get the frequency right for the tweeter. Uh, the middle, which is the rear output, that'll just be for the Alpines and the Orion speakers, which are the, the that is where it gets tricky. Okay, so, as I said before, just quite simple. That's the output for the subwoofer um, amplifier. That's the output for the tweeter amplifier. And this is where it gets complicated, so, I've got easiest one to understand would be the bottom one. That's a splitter, one male, which goes into two females. Then that's connected onto an RCA, which goes to the bander amplifier. Which is there. Now that bander amplifier is connected to the Orions. Okay, that's that sorted. Now the other. Um, the right side of the rear that splits into two females so it's one male split into two females then that splits into another um, two splitters so we end up with one male yeah goes to two females one male here from one of the audio cables goes to two females and the other audio cable the right side goes to another two females so we've got one male two female two ma two males four female then you've got your left and your right for um, the vibe amplifier which connected to the front and the rear if you see it but the rear alpines and hopefully that is how it should be connected and that's how it will work. Next I got to do the remote and um, the power and ground for the, the crossover. But I'll go, I'll just run the cables first just to clean it up a bit because it's getting a bit crazy in here.